everybody, it's me, Kenyatta. I'm here right quick to just do my makeup. There's no tutorial or anything like that. I just want to show you how I wear Laura Mercier um, in Mocha. And this is the Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20 and it's oil free. I really love this. It's not full coverage or anything like that. It does say, you know, lightweight, flawless coverage. Um, so it's not full coverage. And again, it's in Mocha. And um, but I really like it because it has moisturizer in it, and it just <clears throat> excuse me, and it just gives me um, you know a little glow. So I like it. If I didn't have all these blemishes on my face, then it would be perfect for me. Uh, so I'm working on that. Um, if anybody know how to get rid of these blemishes or minimize my pimples, please, please, please let me know, please. I had almost flawless skin earlier this year. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's the weather. What happened that made me break out? Because oh, the white film that you see on my face is Miracle Magnesia. I put that on every morning to minimize the the oil because the oil actually brings out the pimples on my face. So I try to you know kind of minimize it a little bit. But anyway, let me stop talking and go ahead and put on the makeup. And I like to see the film on my face. The the whiteness on my face it tells me that I have it on. I don't too much like to rub it in, so so I know I look weird. But let me go ahead and put some makeup on. If you hear noise, that's the fan. I don't use brush or sponge. I use my fingers. I just find it best to do that. And the consistency is kind of thick in a way, but it don't make your face feel heavy. Like you got a lot on your face at all. But it's kind of like thick when you're like trying to rub it in. So, FYI. I'm trying to put too much because this is expensive. So it's like 42, about 45 with um, tax. So it is expensive. And this is how many ounces? Um, 1.7 fluid ounce. So, and then what I do is take the Makeup Forever um, full coverage concealer, and this is an 18, number 18. And I kind of just pat on my um, blemishes because, like I said, the makeup is not full coverage. But I just like like the way it feels on my face, and I actually like how it looks too. Besides the blemishes, I don't know why I'm putting it up there because the bang is gonna cover it up. So. Save this product because this is expensive as well. Thirty dollars for. 0.5 fluid ounce of um, concealer. It's ridiculous. Go ahead and do my covers. I wish these suckers would grow. I got to look in this mirror, y'all.
so I real quiet, y'all. I just have to concentrate. So I'm using the uh, matte concealer in NW40. I'm not really going to do any eyeshadow today. I'll probably just put in bark. And the crease. Get out of here about 6:30. That should be good. That's why I set my alarm for 6:20 to kind of give me heads up. It's almost 6:30. Okay. So now what I do is put some Embark on it. Embark eyeshadow by Mac. Just to kind of, I guess, set it a little bit. And then, kind of like smooth out the rough edges. Because I don't like to really have that boxy look. You know, where it would look too, too boxy. I don't like that look on me. So I'll kind of smooth out the edge. You see what I'm doing? Kind of like just smoothing it out. Look like it's um, like fading, kind of. So I want. I should show you like before how it was like really harsh edge. Looks like it was boxy. So you see how that looks. Let's go ahead and put a little eyeshadow in the crease. But well, first, let me highlight. Highlighting with rice paper. I'm not really doing a full eyeshadow look this morning because now I am rushing. Okay, eyeliner. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to pull my eye like this. I don't know how to put it on without doing that. I kind of close my eye real tight so I can outline up and get up top. My top layer. And then and what I do is get the Black Bean uh, Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. Okay, three minutes. And get an angle brush. And kind of Set it. Put it down in my eye while I'm trying to do this. And I'll just upload this when I get home. Okay. And then take some black eyeshadow. Doesn't matter what kind. Just black. And I kind of set it, stab it. Stab it. 
stab it. And get my powder. Um, M304 Earth Smooth Minerals by, or from Avon. I have a small little hole. You have to beat the powder down. You pound and see a smaller hole comes out of that. So what I do is kind of just put it all on the face. Come on here. Liquid eyeliner NYC liquid eyeliner. I can never do this right. Look what I want. Uh, I did that one with this far. Now what's up with the other side? Put on mascara. I'm using Falsies by Maybelline. Yes, you all. I kind of fell in love with this one. You know, I used to love the um, Cover Girl Lash Blast. But I'm liking you, this one right here. I'm just going to have like a nude lip. I may put on uh, see-through um, lip gloss. That was beeswax um, uh, chapstick. Anyway, this is the finished look. Nothing outstanding, but <laughs> it's simple. When you're rushing, even though it still took me forever. See how the wig is covering up my eyebrows. Anyway, so I really did. I got hair on my lip. Okay, so it's time to go. That's it. See? Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. If you have any comments, questions, or anything, please leave them below. And please, 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 please tell me how to get rid of these blemishes and um, uh, pimples and stuff like that. If you have any suggestions, please leave them below. I really, really appreciate it. I really don't want to go to a dermatologist, but if that's the suggestion that you all give, then I would do that. I did it before, but the stuff didn't really work, so maybe I need something stronger. I don't know. So, um, please leave it below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.